This is a simple electromechanical switch. It's called relay. We use normal switches to close or open a circuit manually. A relay is also a switch that connects or disconnects two circuits. But instead of a manual operation, a relay uses an electrical signal to control an electromagnet, which in turn connects or disconnects another circuit. Relays are most commonly used switching device in electronics. Let us learn how to use one in our circuits based on the requirement of our project. Before we proceed with the circuit to drive the relay, we have to consider two important parameters of the relay. One is trigger voltage. This is the voltage required to turn on the relay. And the other parameter is load voltage and current. This is the amount of voltage and current that our relay can handle. Usually these two parameters are written on the body of the relay. This is the 5 volt relay in my hand. The trigger voltage for this relay is 5 volt DC and the trigger current is about 70 mA. The maximum AC load current is 10 ampere at 250 or 125 volt and maximum DC load current is 10 ampere at 30 or 28 volt. This is the common PC board relay which consists of 5 pins. You can see there are 5 pins in this relay. Let's mark these pins from 1 to 5 and see what's the function of these each pins. These 1 and 2 are coil end. These coil end pins use to trigger the relay. Normally one end is connected to 5 volt and another end is connected to ground. We can get this 5 volt DC from different kind of sensors and small circuit. They have no polarity for this two coil pin. That means we can connect our 5 volt to any of one and the ground of the other one. In the middle of these two coil pins, this is common. The common is connected to one end of the load that is to be controlled. In the other side of the relay, let's come to this pin number 4. This is normally closed. The other end of the load is either connected to normally open or normally close. If connected to normally close, the load remain connected before trigger. And the last pin is normally open. When the relay triggered, this normally open pin becomes shorted with the common pin. We can check the continuity between common and normally open or normally close by a multimeter. We have to set the multimeter at continuity test mode. Then if we touch one probe at common pin and another at normally close, we could hear the beep sound when there is no trigger. I have this 5 volt 2 ampere DC power supply. I will give 5 volt DC to two coil pins and trigger the relay. After triggering the relay, I will check normally open and normally close pins. So now I am connecting 5V DC with coil pins. As soon as I connect 5V DC, relay triggers and normally close pin become open with common pins. Exactly opposite event will happen for normally open pins. After triggered, the common pin and the normally open pin will be shorted. Now just for testing, instead of using heavy load, I will use a 9V battery and a small LED. I have to use a 330 ohm resistor as I am using 9 volt as a voltage source. At the end of this video, I will show controlling a heavy load by relay. Now let's see the LED circuit. Here the 9 volt battery positive terminal is connected with the LED anode pin after a resistor and the cathode pin of the LED is connected to the normally open pin of relay and the negative of the battery is connected to the common pin of the relay. As we explained before, now if we give 5V DC to the coils pin, the relay will trigger, then the normally open pin and the common pin will be shorted. As a result, the LED circuit will be completed and the LED will glow. Let's test it and see what happened. So here it is, as soon as the relay triggered, the LED is glowing. So everything is going well according to the theory. Now let's see one interesting thing. Connect a LED with opposite polarity of the coil voltage given by the DC source. We know LED is one kind of diodes and its flow current in one direction. 
As we connected this LED at opposite polarity, it should not glow. But as soon as we disconnect the DC source from the coil, there is a blink in the LED. This happens because of back EMF voltage. When we cut the DC source, these opposite voltages create a huge voltage peak for an instant. That's why the LED has blinked. The problem is these voltages can be more than 50, even more than 100 volt, which can damage DC circuit, sensor or transistor. That's why we use a diode across the coil of the relay. This diode is called the flyback diode. This diode creates the closed loop across the coil and protect the switch from high voltage peak that can be produced by the relay coil. Here you can see I connected a diode. Now we will test it. There is no blink in the LED. I will cut the diode and I will see again what happened without diode. So all the experiment with the diode is done. Now I will reconnect this diode with this relay. Before ending the video, I will use a LDR light control circuit for switching the relay and on the other side, I will connect a high power bulb to the normally open pin. Thanks for watching. I will be back with another new video. Till then, take care.